So we asked in the five things video if you would like for me to do a let's talk about Maguire video. And to be honest, I wanted to do it. Um, luckily, so did you lot. That's all the comments have been. So let's talk about Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire has been nothing short of a travesty um, this season, I would say. Captain Manchester United to one of the worst teams that we've had in history. Honestly, I actually can't remember a team as bad as a Manchester United side. And it's captained it to its worst defensive record in the Premier League era. So it's at least 30 years of being bad. It's inexcusable. It's our heaviest defeat at Anfield in the Premier League era. And he was comfortably responsible for three out of four goals. And if he was being harsh, you could probably throw a hand in the other one as well. The 9-0 aggregate score against Liverpool is the widest it's been since 1893 against Sunderland. We've lost 15-1 on aggregate to City and to Liverpool. Now, it would be unfair to put all of this on Harry Maguire. It really would. But what sticks in the throat is, this is a captain who doesn't take responsibility. This is a captain who has come out and a couple of months ago, put a load of blame on the forwards. How many times have Manchester United kept a clean sheet? We know David De Gea, from a stop, shot-stopping point of view, has done pretty well this season. There's other aspects of his game need a lot of work. We know he's not had a consistent partner alongside him in um, Raphael Varane, who's been a little bit underwhelming. We know that the full-backs arguably aren't good enough. But no one's making excuses for those. People are saying, well, Harry Maguire was good for internationals. I don't care. Like, I really don't care about international football. Uh, I certainly don't care about England. I like watching international football. But you have to be realistic. You have to be honest. International football is slower. Therefore, it's more suited to Harry Maguire. Harry Maguire, when he came, was good. I got no qualms in saying that. This isn't me going back on anything I've said previously. He came into a counter-attack inside. Him and Wambasaka were useful for what they were bought for in that first 12 months. But this is where the structure and the hierarchy at Old Trafford is wrong. Because those 12 months, we were always going to change. Those 12 months, we were always going to be something completely different. We was looking to be a team that held possession. We was looking to be a team that played on the front foot. We were looking to be a team that started to transform into being one that was going to dominate the ball a little bit. So even though they were good for 12 months, someone should have been aware of what we were looking to try and become, what we were looking to trans transition into. And since we transitioned into that, which coincided with what happened in Greece, harry has been a liability. The warning signs were there when Spurs absolutely spanked us and he was trying to chase Hyung min Son on the halfway line. I might as well have been trying to Chase Hyung Min Son on the halfway line for all the good it did. You know, he's getting caught up running into Luke Sean and swinging him around in the box. From that moment, whether that was the moment where his confidence went, whether that was the moment he realised that he couldn't do this, I'm not sure. But it's kind of from that moment that I don't think Harry Maguire has been a useful Manchester United defender. We've had some games that we've won. We've had some performances where he's been good in those performances. But if we're being brutally honest about what we're about, the Manchester United captain needs replacing. Not just as captain, he needs replacing and taking out the starting eleven. Now, he did a PR interview prior to the game. And I, I know that broadcasters, when it's United and Liverpool, they're going to want to speak to players from United and Liverpool. And I've seen some people trying to defend what he said. Now, he said, I've had some bad games. And I said, well, actually, I don't think that's going quite far enough. And some people go, well, what did you expect him to say? Well, I'll give you some examples of the things I would like him to say. Yeah, it's not been good enough. Yeah, I've not been good enough. Yeah, I'm working on the things that I'm not getting right in the game. Yeah, I'm the first in, I'm the last out of training. I am doing everything I can. I'm looking at video, I'm talking to coaches. He's never said that. He comes in and goes, oh, I've had a couple of bad games. It's dismissive. I must be doing something, right? Because I keep getting picked by every manager. Here's the truth, Harry. You're getting picked because you're available. Eric Bayer is not available. Phil Jones is not available. Varane is not available. Tuan Zabi is not available. Mengi's out on loan. 
Panhard's out on loan. Your competition are three lads out on loan and a load of injured players. Victor Lindelof gets picked every week. There's not many out here claiming that he would be as good either. But like you said in your interview, you cost £80 million. You are the Manchester United captain. And these are the times when people are going to put the pressure on you because you are not good enough. And the performance that you dropped in the Anfield last night was just ridiculous. There's not a single ounce of accountability. Reportedly refused to do an interview after the game. As fans, you owe us a lot more than that. Manchester United captain isn't just a, a person who puts an armband on. You're the spokesperson for the football team and an ambassador for the players. You're neither of those things. Very, very thin-skinned, which he sort of seemed to mock in the interview that he did. Coming out and doing this after scoring a goal against Andorra. I'm sorry, mate, nobody said... I'll tell you what, I don't mind Harry Maguire, but if you'd only just score a little bit more of headers against Andorra. No one criticised you for that. They criticised you because you're slow. They criticised you because you don't take any accountability for your problems that you cause. Ralph Ragnick basically come out and told everyone you was in the wrong last night against Liverpool. It was never the plan to play a high line and try and catch them offside. Yet what did you do throughout the game? Take some accountability. He's clearly surrounded by blind apologists. His agency tweeted out a, a highlights video of him just spraying passes out to the left-hand side. Again. No one can deny that he's got a 25-yard pass in him. That's not what he's in the team for. He conceded two goals where he was largely at fault against the worst team in the Premier League. And you've got the audacity to be putting out here highlight videos. Read the room. Roy Keane had something to say. Now, Roy Keane, for me, is the best captain Manchester United have ever had. That is the standard bearer. And he came out and he said... We're trying to help Maguire up here. We're trying to do it before the match, trying to give him a little bit of PR. Roy Keane's basically come out and said exactly how it went down. The last goal, Maguire's passing, he's defending. It's not acceptable, not good enough for MUFC. He said, if you want to be the captain, you have to be at the top of the game and hope that the rest follow. He's not been good enough and the team have not been good enough. And you know, he basically admits that pundits have been asked by agencies uh, and player managers to be easy on him and that the interview pre-game was a, a bit of a let's feel sorry for Maguire PR attempt. Absolutely laughable. Do you think Roy Keane is out here getting his dad and his agents to tell people to go easy on Roy Keane? Can you even imagine a scenario where Roy Keane, not only that does he talk to his agent about what's my image look like, can you even imagine a scenario where Roy Keane gives a fuck what his image is? Roy Keane cared about lifting trophies time and time again. Roy Keane doesn't think he won the European Cup because he missed one match in that run. There couldn't be further amount of disparity. And this might feel like this is just, let's blame everything on Maguire. It's not. Marcus Rashford has been a waste of a shirt this season. But Marcus Rashford has just dropped all of the PR dropped all of his communications and decided to focus on his football. And he needed to. And he's got to go and do that. Other players have been poor and they're doing the same thing. You're not seeing Phil Jones out here doing interviews. You're not seeing, and you're not seeing Paul Pogba coming out and doing interviews even. And he's got a lot to be criticised for. If Eric Ten Hag is to be a success at Manchester United, so much of this success is going to be on the back of what he does with Harry Maguire. Is he going to be allowed to drop him because there's a certain amount of PR, there's a certain amount of pressure that comes with, that's our 80 million pound signing, what do you mean he's not good enough? We've seen Jim Lawler and Marcel Boot, the uh, head of recruitment and head of global scouting at Manchester United given the bullet today, leave the club. I hope that's on the back of some of the mistakes that they've made in the past few years. And I hope that signals the start of a new dawn at Manchester United, where people are able to go and actually put some power down and actually correct the mistakes that have gone by in recent years. And if it was up to me, Harry Maguire in the summer would be sold in a fire sale 
as Manchester United need to replace him with someone who can play 1v1 on the halfway line and can actually take responsibility for being a fucking defender at Manchester United. Hey, thank you for watching the video. If you are new around these parts, then don't forget to subscribe. My channel is proudly supported by my community on Patreon. If you'd like to get a little bit of extra content, a Discord group, meetups, five-a-side games, weekly podcasts, behind the scenes, and even an occasional bit of transfer news as and when I get it, then for the price of a pint, you can show your appreciation for the content that we make and get some goodies for doing so as well. Check the link in the description or click the button right here. You'll also find all of my socials here too if you want to follow me on any of those platforms. Nice one.